I never really thought that I would be able to make it around the world and like ever make it outside of my my hometown or, or do this for a living at all. So it feels really, really, I mean, surreal to be able to do it. You must really love what you do, getting to bring this music to the masses. How does it feel knowing that, you know, we're nearing, we're nearing that time where it's gonna be out in the world? It feels amazing. I'm so excited, honestly. I know it's like, every artist says it, like, I'm so excited, but I really am so excited about, you know, releasing it. I like just had a lot of fun making it, honestly. And even though I was going through a lot of heavy stuff, like it was just a really fun process. And, uh, you know, I like having it finally, like as a whole, I, I'm just so proud of it. And like, I just can't wait for people to hear it. I hope, I hope everybody likes it. I really like it, so that's <laughs> <laughs> you really share all of yourself on social media. It seems like you, from the beginning, you never really kind of strayed from being who you were, like the good parts, maybe the ickier parts, and you let your audience in on that. Like, why has that been important to you from the beginning? And why has that stayed something that is still important to you now? Well, I think, I mean, it would be very exhausting. I mean, selfishly, it would be very exhausting to like have to be somebody else all the time. <laughs> because I'm, you know, my job is like, so constant and like frequent that it'd be so frustrating and like kind of confusing to have to like turn it on and off. And I feel like it wouldn't be uh, very healthy to like have to hang up the hat all the time. Like when you're like off work, yeah. it would be too much. Um, and I, I'm somebody who like is very sensitive with my mental health, like things can like switch it and trigger it on and off very frequently. So I feel like I, I try to be as open and as honest as possible so that there's very little to have to like hide and very little to have to switch back and forth between. I love that you're so open and talk about your mental health, you know, climate change awareness, like all of this, all of this stuff, but the mental health stuff in particular, I think is just really awesome that you're creating space for your audience um, to kind of know that it's okay to not be okay. And to know that you can kind of go out and do all these really big things in your life and still have these struggles and that doesn't take away from your magic. 100%, yeah. You know, just because you have a good life on paper doesn't mean that you um, are, are exempt from like struggles and pain and hurt, you know, and learning. So I think I felt a lot of shame like for feeling those things for so long because I was like, well, I'm like living my dream. I shouldn't be feeling this way. But, you know, the older you get, the more you realize that like the boat that we think we're alone in is like actually like a ship that we're all kind of it's a big old yacht. It's yeah. a fancy yacht. Yeah. <laughs> Another Canadian powerhouse who was also so wonderful inside and so talented is, of course, Sean. Um, I mean, you and Tom Mendes pretty much came up at the same time. Do you ever think about everything that you both have accomplished? Like two super rad Canadians just doing their thing? Totally, yeah. It's so crazy. Like every time you see somebody from your hometown or like the GTA or like, I guess you're kind of your your hometown making it like globally and kind of going through the same journey at the same time it's kind of wild to think about you know that we like came up around the same time but we're from the same place and the fact that there are multiple people from the same place as me doing it at the same time and getting to hopefully show other people that are from smaller towns that it is possible and it's a real thing that can happen to you it's really cool um you know just getting to like follow his journey also I mean and other people like Drake in the weekend and Jesse Reyes and Daniel Caesar and like all these amazing talented artists that are like from like my backyard yeah. so cool there you feel like kind of like a sense of unity you've been on such an epic ride and you're nowhere in your ring done like I I'm always so jazzed to see what you do next but what do you make of this amazing journey you've been on so far I don't want to like overuse the word blessed because I feel like now it's kind of become a <laughs> like a comical word but I do feel very blessed yeah fortunate I'll, I'll say and privileged to like I don't know just have the things that I've dreamt about be mm -hmm. like see them for myself you know instead of just in my imagination it feels very very nice to be able to do that and I don't know what I've done to deserve it in some other life but I feel very lucky mm -hmm.